With Tyreek Hill's response to Deshaun Elliott, it made it seem like the Ravens were cheetahs and they didn't play him fairly in the matchup on Sunday Night Football. Yeah, this feels like a dream. YouTube, the team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, Tyreek Hill's saltiness really caught me off guard. I like Tyreek Hill a lot. Um, I, I love his game, love his playmaking ability. That dude is a amazing, amazing. One of the NFL's best, not even just wide receivers, but one of the NFL's best playmakers. Um, but on Sunday night, he was taking out the game. He was taking out the game. I think he had like three catches for 14 yards. And you got to give credit where credit is due. The Ravens, that they did a phenomenal job completely removing Tyreek Hill at the game. Um, and one of those plays was highlighted to where Patrick Mahomes, he tried to hit Tyreek Hill, but Anthony Avery was covering him. And something that us as Ravens fans, especially me, have been talking about on here for the longest with Anthony Avery is that he's so close, so close to becoming that dude at cornerback. The only thing he really needs to work on was getting his head turned around and making a play on the ball. And on that play against Tyreek Hill, he did just that. He turned, turned around and made a play on the ball. And it was just a phenomenal play. It was a big play. It was a huge play. I and mean, I know it was a huge confidence booster for Anthony Avery. But we as Ravens fans, we were super proud of him, super happy for him. And just we were like, yeah, let's go. Because it's like, it's like you, you watch somebody. It's like you're watching a, a baby grow up. Uh, from from infancy and they grow up bigger and bigger and bigger they get taller and taller and they get smarter and smarter and as, as you watch them grow you're just so proud you're like oh man they did it they did it this is what we've been trying to teach them for so long they finally did it and with Anthony Avery it was just it was a very big accomplishment uh, for him it was obviously a big accomplishment for the Ravens because they ended up winning the game and that was one of several big plays uh, that determined the outcome but we were just Super proud of him. But somebody else that was also super proud of him was Deshaun Elliott. And Deshaun Elliott took to Twitter and he let it be known. He said, Clamp Clampington. That's what he called Anthony Averitt because on that play, Anthony Averitt put the clamps on Tyreek Hill. And really, again, throughout the entire game, the clamps were put on Tyreek Hill. Was it a one-man show? No, no. One man ain't going to take no Tyreek Hill out of the game. They were doubling this dude. They were doing bracket cover. They were doing everything to take him out of the game. So they had to put a lot of extra effort into removing him from the game. But it worked. Now, we wish they could have took out Travis Kelsey from the game too. But it's okay. It worked out in the long run uh, because the Ravens end up getting the win. So, with Deshaun Elliott's comment, Clam Clampington, that was not a shot at Tyreek Hill whatsoever. That was not a diss at Tyreek Hill whatsoever. That was not disrespect to Tyreek Hill whatsoever. He did not speak down on Tyreek Hill's name whatsoever. He said nothing bad about Tyreek Hill whatsoever. But it seems as if Tyreek Hill might have gotten a little offended from it. Might have gotten a little upset from it. Might have gotten a little bit salty from it. And initially I was thinking like, why? For what? But first... Let's see exactly what Tyreek Hill said. He said, keep that same energy when we match up again. So keep that same energy. Now, you know, when people tell, when somebody tells somebody else, keep that same energy, that means that they heat it. They're like, all right, try, try me now. Oh, all right, next time I see you, I got you. Keep that same energy next time I see, next time I see you, it's on site. You already know how it is. If somebody's saying keep that same energy, y'all not cool. Y'all not friends. They ain't trying to be all buddy-buddy with you. So with Tyreek Hill saying that, I was just thinking like, what? No, Nobody tried you. Nobody dissed you. Nobody said anything bad. So you telling Deshaun Elliott to keep that same energy? I, I just don't get it. But then I thought, wait a minute. This is Tyreek Hill. This is one of the best receivers in the NFL. And when you're one of the best receivers in the NFL, you're used to going off. You're used to making so many different plays every single game. And obviously, he always gets over 1,000 yards, always gets a bunch of touchdowns. He, he's, he's just used to that. So when somebody takes you out of your element, it can be like, whoa, what, 
what is this? What's going on? Where am I? I'm not used to this. And then, <laughs> even though, it, I mean, it sucks, but it, it, it has been what it has been. Even with Tyreek Hill, he's used to making a bunch of plays against the Ravens. We remember the, uh, the Lamar Jackson versus Patrick Mahomes, their first matchup. And we know it's not technically Lamar versus Mahomes, but it's more fun to say it that way. But in their first matchup, Ravens had him. Ravens had the Chiefs, and it was like, oh, game over. Oh, fourth and nine, a Ravens defense? Oh, yeah, let's go, man. We got... All we got to do is stop these boys on fourth and nine. Not even fourth and one. Not fourth. Fourth and nine. Man. <laughs> oh, please, man. We got this in a bag, man. Oh, let's go, man. Nope. Patrick Mahomes rolls out to the right. And, and for some reason, it was a C.J. Mosey, a linebacker, and Eric Weddle, a safety on Tyreek Hill. But we don't need to talk about that part. But that was one of the many big plays that Tyreek Hill made against these Ravens. And then the, the last couple of times we've he so again, he's just used to this. Not only against making a bunch of big plays in the NFL, but he's used to making a bunch of big plays against Baltimore. Whether the game was in Kansas City or whether the game's in Baltimore, that's just what he does. He is a spoiler for the Ravens defense. But this time his game got spoiled. Again, three catches for like 14 yards. The Ravens completely took him out the game. And I, I remember going into this game, I was thinking like, oh, boy. I was just scared. I was scared because I'm like, oh, Travis Kelsey. We just saw what Darren Waller did to us last week. But then you add uh, Tyreek Hill on top of that. It's like, oh, my goodness. And, Ty, uh, of course, Kelsey, he did his thing. Oh, this guy. Kelsey went off. Um, he, he got a bunch of short catches, but they, they a lot of them went for, especially that 45-yard touchdown catch. Um, but he got a bunch of short catches, a lot of conversions on third down and whatnot. Um, but the Ravens, they they really made the, the Chiefs use their other playmakers. They made them use a Pringle. They made them use the, the Marcus Robinson. They made them use their other weapons instead of uh, Tyreek Hill. Because the Ravens removed him. But it, it just seems as if Tyreek Hill wasn't feeling this. And again, I just, I, I didn't understand it whatsoever. Uh, so hopefully we do see the Chiefs again. Um, but the Ravens, they can't be fixated on the Chiefs right now because now it's on to Detroit. And then after that, it's going to be on to the Broncos. And then after that, I, I forgot who they play after that because I do not remember the schedule past the Broncos game. Uh, so we will see when, when, when we get there. But um, this just, it, it just, again, it, it came from left field. And it was just, uh, it was really unnecessary, really, man. Because, again, nobody was talking about you. Nobody said, nobody said anything bad about you whatsoever. Nobody did. They were giving credit to Anthony Averitt. That's all they would do. They weren't, nobody said, oh, Tyreek Hill. Sorry. Nobody said, oh, you, you, lock, you lock that garbage dude up, man. No, no, nobody said that. But I know NFL players always talk about how the quarterbacks, you know, they're they the most sensitive players on the team. But sometimes it can, it can trickle down a little bit. I still like Tyreek Hill, though. Y'all already know. I, I still love his game. I, I love what he does on the football field because that, that dude is amazing, man. I, I love how... Um, and he, he's just such a, and, and this is just the Chiefs offense, period. They're such risk takers because they can get away with it. They're, they're risk takers because with Patrick Mahomes, you know, again, I always talk about it, how he'll have a five-yard completion right in front of him, but he'll go for the 15, 20-yard completion of somebody who's more downfield. With Tyreek Hill, when, when Patrick Mahomes throws him the ball, he'll catch the ball, but then he'll run backwards. He'll run backwards to try to really get a, a defender like, oh, 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 boy, here we go. Man, why do he have to run backwards on me? Just so he could try to shake you and outrun you. And, and he'll, he'll hardly ever lose yards in the process. Because he'll catch a pass. He'll catch like a 10-yard pass. He'll run back like three, four yards. But then he'll outrun you for like six, seven of them. Um, so he is just, his game is amazing. So this whole little Twitter thing, it doesn't take anything away from his game. Um, so, but I just... Again, I, I think he was just knocked off. Yeah, I think he was just like sort of ticked off, ticked off, obviously, because he was knocked off of what his regular trajectory is uh, during an NFL season and especially against the Ravens. So 
But it's all good, man. It's still all love, I'm sure. I'm sure uh, if if we do play the Chiefs again this year, um, I'm sure it'll be all hugs and handshakes and high fives and just smiles from left to right, ear to ear. And everybody will be all good. Team Keep It Clean, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Yeah, I want I want y'all to keep that same energy that y'all be keeping. But me, I mean it in a positive way. Because y'all be bringing positive energy all the time. So I appreciate it. Shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean patrons. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. If you want to become a Team Keep It Clean patron, you can go to patreon.com slash engravingviz. If you don't, then don't go to patreon.com slash engravingviz. Whatever you do, you keep that same energy. We out.